All right. Welcome to the Virtual College Exploration for All West Virginia Students, sponsored by West Virginia Association of Collegiate Registrars and Admissions Officers and StriveScan. Thank you for joining us. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. Don't forget, this is just one of the many different sessions happening, so be sure to check out the full schedule at wbacrao.org. And this presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at the same website, wbacrao.org. Now, I would like to turn it over to our presenters. Thanks, Jess. I know if you want to go ahead and start sharing your screen now. Awesome. All How's right, every awesome. Thank you everyone for joining today's um, webinar. This is West Virginia Northern Community College. My name is Reagan Blaha. I'm the admissions counselor and student recruiter here at the college. I cover all three campuses. Um, last week, we talked more specifically about our Wheeling campus. Tonight, we're gonna get to hear a little bit about our New Martinsville campus and our Wheeling campus. So tonight's MCs, I'll call you both will be Ina Robinson, your new Martinsville campus counselor, and Lisa Soli, your Wheaton campus counselor. Ladies, take it over. Thank you so much, Reagan. We really appreciate you being here so that our new students can see your face as you welcome them to the college. Um, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Lisa Soli. I'm the manager of campus operations here on the Weirton campus of West Virginia Northern Community College. We have um, faculty and other staff with us here this afternoon so that you can learn more about the college and things that we can offer you. Um, so we hope that this is very insightful and informative. Um, with, the, with the first slide, um, we're going to go ahead and Ina, do you wanna say hello as well before we get started? Hello world, I'm the Clarksville <laughs> Camp, Campus Counselor and we're, we're all here to share and help with help with your admissions to college. So please ask lots of questions. So our, our plan for you today is to give you some information about the college, a little bit more about what we do and why we're here, why it's really important for West Virginia Northern Community College to be in these communities in Weirton and New Martinsville, in addition to the campus down in Wheeling, so that you can understand about how we can help you on your educational journey. Uh, we have so many different majors. One thing that's really great about West Virginia Northern is we have students that come to us for many reasons. Some people, they say that they wanna come to um, West Virginia Northern because they want to get a degree that's gonna help them go straight into the workforce. You know, for example, something like nursing. Um, we also have degrees where um, students come to us to start and maybe they pursue something called a um, two plus two program which are um, options for students to start at a school like West Virginia Northern and then transfer on to a four-year degree. So our hope is to share with you a little bit more about all the different majors that we do offer. Um, we have certificate programs and associate degree programs, which are one or two-year degrees. Um, during your time here, we think it's really important that you are able to be funded, that you have some help. So we wanna touch a little bit about financial aid. There are different types of financial aid, federal financial aid, state financial aid, and even the college has a lot of scholarship opportunities itself. So we wanna to touch on that a little bit for you. Um, in terms of student activities, sometimes people have the perception that a two-year school is a school where students go to and then leave and um, you know maybe there isn't a lot to do, but that is far from the truth. So when you hear a little bit from Sarah Wood, she'll tell you about how she keeps all of our campuses popping and on our toes um, with a lot of really fun activities and events. Um, we're hoping that after you hear from all of us that your next thought is going to be, okay, what's next, right? How do I apply? How do I go through the process? 
I want to be a thundering chicken at West Virginia Northern Community College with all of you. So um, we are going to share with you some information about other opportunities to come visit us. We have a few drive through events if you want to drive through and see us on our campuses and also a few other virtual open houses um, coming up in November. So keep those things in mind as, as we um, talk to you this evening. Ina? Um, I want to let you know that West Virginia Northern is a co-educational um, college. We are a public two-year comprehensive community college, as I mentioned before. And I think it's really important to talk about the fact that our student to faculty ratio is 14 to one. So what that means for you is you have a lot of individual attention. Um, sometimes if students go into to larger schools, you, you may have classes that have more students um, in that classroom with you, but here at Northern, there is a lot of individualized attention and that's very important. Um, we do have over 70 programs and certificates to choose from. So as I mentioned, certificate degrees are one-year degrees, one-year programs. Associate degrees are, are two years. And um, we are named one of the most affordable community colleges um, in America. And we have the lowest net price in the state of West Virginia. So that's really important to consider too. I know I mentioned there is a lot of financial aid available out there, but I think it's also important that when you start your college career, that you try to um, keep funding and those things in mind so that that way you're not graduating with a lot of debt um, when you start the workforce. Um, I'd like to say that the Weirton campus, I personally love it very much. I've been here for 14 years. Um, we are a small campus. We have one building, two floors, so we're pretty easy to, to find and get around and see classrooms. We do have a um, learning resource center, which is the library and an academic support center. So we can offer tutoring and support services to our students too. Um, Ina, do you wanna let them know a little bit about what makes New Martinsville unique? We too are also a one, one building, two floors. Uh, we like to say down here that you can start at the service center and move any which way and you'll come back around by the service center. Um, we have, uh, our academic center, as well as our library. And we're very friendly oriented and student oriented here on this campus, as well as the other campuses. Our numbers are small, but at the same time, we not only know your name, we know your major, we know if you have a puppy, if a kitty, we know all that kind of stuff, just because we have start conversations and we try to create a great rapport and a great area to start your studies. I know if you just click on the um, video, it should be able to play. It's embedded into the. I can't get it to go. Okay, let me. Give me one second. I'm going to share my screen here. I chose it because I've always been like, how does that work type of person? And this program gave me the opportunity to not only figure out how it works, but learn how to take it apart and put it back together working better. I never really stopped to think about what it would be like working with mainly men, but I think it'll be okay. It doesn't really bother me too much. Anything that you, it, we do here, anybody can do it. You just have to take the time to figure it out and want to learn how to do it. I like how the classes are smaller and you get more one-on-one -on -one attention than you would per se in a bigger university. All the staff and everything's very friendly. Everyone's eager to help you with whatever you need help with. It's local. If you're just coming out of high school, it's definitely gonna help you get used to the college life because it's not like high school at all. I would say go for it 110%. The program's great, the teachers are fantastic. It's just, it's wonderful. 
and I hope to see you at West Virginia Northern Community College. You can. All right, and Anna, if you want to pull your screen back up and let Kurt go ahead and begin. Hello, my name is Kurt Hippensteel and I'm the division chair for the Applied Technology Division. And uh, thank you for viewing this and for being here. Uh, the programs that are in the division that I'm responsible for are advanced manufacturing, uh, industrial maintenance technology, instrumentation process technology, petroleum technology, refrigeration, air conditioning and heating technology, welding technology. And we, we have, some of those are two-year programs, some of those are one-year certificate programs, and some of those are skill sets. So if you're interested in working with your mind and with your hands with uh, interesting equipment, this is a good, uh, good area for you. Another program that we have are, is our culinary arts program. And uh, you see a picture on the screen of one of our students there. Uh, also a, a program where you work with your mind and your hands and uh, all, all very interesting programs. Some of these programs, uh, I think the welding and the petroleum, there's some scholarship money available in those. And uh, so if you, if you apply, you, you want to make sure to fill out the scholarship application for the college. Um, we, we have uh, labs that you can come and you can visit. If you'd like to take a look at our, our labs, we'd be happy to show those to you. Uh, if you have any questions, please uh, contact us and we'll be happy to uh, explain these more in detail. Thank you. Thanks, Kurt. Lisa, I know I'm going to go ahead and share the animatage video and then you guys can take it from there. The Adam <laughs> The Atomage table. Anatomy. The Anatomage table. The Anatomage table. Anatomage. Am I right? Anatomage. So how do you I think Anatomage? Anatomage. Antimage. Anamage. Antimage. Anatomage. The A table. Anatomage, 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 anatomage,
Um, they are actually very popular. We have programs that are, as Bonnie mentioned, um, called Associate and Applied Science degrees. That would be an AAS degree. Um, that would include our programs such as nursing, radiography, health information technology. Um, and also we have programs such as a medical assisting that start as a one-year degree um, that you can go on and also do a clinical medical assistant degree. That's a two-year program. Um, other programs we offer would be patient care technician. So sometimes students will come to us and say, I'd like to start in a healthcare degree. Patient care is a great way to start. It's a one-year program. Um, so students can get certifications as direct care worker, get certifications in um, phlebotomy and EKG tech. Sometimes those students go on to pursue a degree in nursing or surgical technology, and other times students go into the workforce with a patient care technician degree. Um, our nursing degree is a two-year program. At the end of that program, students have their RN. Um, sometimes they also go right into the workforce, and sometimes they go on for further degrees, um, but it is a very popular um, program. There is a process to, to get into some of our allied health programs, which is something we would like to address if that's something that you are interested in. Um, and then, as I mentioned, medical billing and coding, medical assisting are also degrees that are one-year programs that you can build on as well. Um, a lot of them do have applications, which means that they are what is called selected admission. Um, students have to have a certain GPA, certain test scores, and things like that, and there's a process to be accepted to most of those programs. Um, so if you have any um, questions about that, please let us know. Ina, do you want to talk to them a little bit about business and science? Yes, we offer quite a few uh, programs in the business, CIT, math programs. A lot of folks use our associate of science degree to start out their career, particularly when they're going to be a major in chemistry, into, uh, excuse me, into um, different engineering programs. So they'll get a two-year degree here. That's a very nice combination of science and math programs that allows them to go ahead and quickly benefit the other programs. In the business end, we have accounting. We have not only a certificate program, we have a two-year program, and we even have things that transfer two plus two programs. Um, the uh, hey, Ina, can you fast forward the slides up to the business slides so they can see the pictures, please? Sure can. Thank you. And as you can see with the um, cybersecurity, different things of that nature, we can get into those programs. So there's a lot of not only certificate programs, but certificate programs that you can build into two-year programs, and also quite a few that are two plus two at a variety of our in-state institution, four-year institutions. And Crystal, would you like to go ahead with Can you hear me now? Okay, last time I did this, I was talking for like a minute and I didn't realize I was muted. Um, I am Crystal Harbert. I'm the division chair for um, communication, liberal arts, social sciences, and um, our degrees, mostly our two year degrees. Um, we have an associate in arts and English or general concentration. Um, history or psychology, and those are the kind of programs that have um, no great transferability. Um, if you want to be a lawyer, you can start here, get all those um, core general education classes um, done and then transfer, um, and we have excellent instructors. We have um, PhDs for our English classes. We have um, a published poet who was our speech instructor. Um, for other programs, we have early childhood care and education. Um, so if you're looking to be um, in the uh, classroom and preschool um, classroom, that's a great program. Um, also, we have um, a lot of students who will transfer for the four-year teaching degree. Um, we have the um, human services program. And um, that will 
cover is like social work, so if you're looking to go into social work, you can start here and then transfer there as well. And again, those programs, uh, human services, are taught by um, social workers who still have their um, credentials, who are still very much in touch with, with what's happening in the industry. We have our um, criminal justice program, and that is taught by um, someone who was in the industry for 20 plus years. Um, and it's a very dynamic program, lots of um, hands-on um, classes and that. Um, and I think that's all for me. Thank you. Um, next, what we would like to do is give you some information about the Early Entrance Program. Um, early Entrance is an opportunity for students who are currently in high school to take advantage of taking college level classes. This is something that has really taken off, I'd say, especially in New Martinsville and in, in, in Weirton. A lot of our local high schools um, offer these classes and encourage students to do so for many different reasons. Um, and one good idea to, to take an early entrance class, a college level class on high school, is that you're getting a jump start. So let's say, for example, as Crystal was mentioning, you, you think, I think I want to pursue a degree in psychology. What we're able to do is look at that program of study and show you which courses are required, and you can start taking some of those courses early so that you have a jump start. You understand how to write papers, how to read a syllabus, how to communicate with faculty members. So that way, when you graduate from high school, you have a real jump start on how college works. And so that's one huge benefit to it. Um, the high schools are also very supportive of their students who participate in these programs. Um, I can tell you a lot of the local high schools up here in Weirton, they actually provide books to their students so that that way they have all the resources that they need to be successful in those classes as well. Um, there is a huge cost savings. So if a student decides to take a course while they are still in high school, the cost is $25 a credit hour. Uh, to put that into perspective, what that means is most of our classes are three credit hours. So in um, English 101, our college composition class is three credit hours. So um, the $25 comes into play that an English class would be $75 since it's $25 a credit hour. Um, when a student completes the application as an early entrance student, there is also a $25 registration fee. So it typically equates that a student would pay $100 then to take a class. Sometimes we have students who take more than one class as an early entrance, which is, which is okay too. Um, this program is available to students after they've completed their sophomore year of high school. Um, and so since the student is still in high school, um, I will tell you there's a separate application and it is a pink early entrance application. The front part of it would be where students could fill out information about themselves and which classes they're interested in. And then on the back, it would require signatures from the student, the parent, and from somebody at the high school so that they're aware of that process too. Um, and then finally, in, in order to register, we would need to have a copy of either a student's high school transcript that would reflect grades of A's and B's that they've received in their high school classes. Or we can also use SAT or ACT scores and use the same placement test scores as we would for any student um, entering West Virginia Northern. Anna, you want to tell them a little bit about um, West Virginia Invest? Sure. West Virginia Invest has been stated that it is free college tuition. What it truly is, is an affordable way for you to come to school, particularly if you're not eligible for FAFSA or the Pell Grant slash Pell Grant, it's the same item. This allows folks that are in the middle income, the parents' middle income, they can afford to have their child attend school. There are certain criterias which really aren't that difficult. One is you do a drug test and on that, that comes back every semester. Also, you do two hours per semester of community service. And recently with the COVID outbreak, the state has been so kind to waive those two hour community services. 
And the other thing, which just floors me, is you only have to have a 2.0 GPA. This is a great way to get started. And a lot of those programs will build into additional bachelor degrees and move you forward. But the number one thing is that you get on the job market. They only have one final criteria, which is that you reside in the state for two years after graduation. But if you're moving on to another school, you're still gonna have your home address as your primary residence. So this is a great way to have free, so-called free college and it pays for your tuition, it does not pay for your books and it pays for required fees. Lisa? I would just like to add um, with financial aid, Ida and I tend to field questions um, in regards to financial aid on our respective campuses. I'd like to encourage all students to file a FAFSA. The FAFSA is the free application for federal student aid. Um, all financial aid um, applications can be completed at studentaid.gov. Um, and that's where you can file to see if you do qualify for any type of federal assistance, such as a Pell Grant, or also um, once that, that FAFSA is processed, we can see if you might also qualify for any state grants, such as the higher education grant. The state of West Virginia also has, in addition to West Virginia Invest, a um, Promise Scholarship. So West Virginia Invest and Promise do um, require students to complete a separate application in addition to the FAFSA. So that is something that you'd want to, um, to do. The applications are very quick, very easy, um, so that's really helpful. And it's really important to look out for all those different options in terms of financial aid to help you while you're in college. Um, the, the college itself, we do offer a scholarship application. It's one application that you can fill out to uh, look for applying for any type of, of scholarship that we have. So there's so many different avenues that you can um, look toward and, and just highly recommend that, that filing the FAFSA and, and looking for those options and talking with your advisor and financial aid office is really important. Um, Sarah, would you like to talk to us a little bit about student activities? Absolutely, thank you, Lisa. My name is Sarah Wood and I am the Director of Student Activities here at Northern. My office is located in the Student Union on the Wheeling campus, but I travel between all three campuses. Both the Weirton and the New Martinsville campus have student lounge lounges on campuses. So those are great locations to get to know other students, participate in student activities, and just hang out and complete your homework between classes. The Department of Student Activities structures all of our social, educational, community service, life skills, and then just plain fun opportunities on and off campus. We do have intramural sports here at Northern. We have team sports and individual competitions that you can become engaged in. Our team sports include flag football, volleyball, and women's slow pitch softball. And our individual sports include everything from cornhole tournaments to pool tournaments, ping pong, golf off campus, mini golf and par three golf, and other opportunities dependent on student interest. The New Martinsville campus does, does have access to Prodigy Wellness Center, which is right down the street from campus. As a student, you get free access to not only the gym, but all of the classes offered at Prodigy as well. We do community service opportunities in the Department of Student Activities, again, both on and off campus. Opportunities go all the way from Hancock to Tyler County. You can volunteer as an individual or as a group we also have a variety of student clubs to become engaged in on campus. We have the Student Government Association, Campus Activities Board, Petroleum Tech Club, Astronomy Club, Bible Club, Computer Club, Northern Serves Community Service Club, the Radiology Club, Student Nurses Association, Veterans Association, and the Criminal Justice Association. We also have a chapter of Pi Theta Kappa at Northern, which is a National Community College Honor Society. I encourage you to learn more about student activities by downloading our WBNCC Go app or following Northern on social media, Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat. You can get a great picture of the opportunities that we offer on campus and read a description where they're located and um, things like how to get involved. 
I did wanna highlight some of the opportunities to give you an idea of the specific programs that we have on campus. In the past few weeks, we have offered everything from trivia, bingo, financial planning, drive-in movie events. We have tie-dye masks coming up, stress management workshops, pumpkin painting, crafts, fantasy football competitions, video game tournaments, and so much more. One of the neat things about student activities is they are really based on the interest of students. So if you have ideas or programs you would like to see on campus, the Department of Student Activities is always willing to plan things that you want to see and that you want to engage in. Thank you very much. So the next steps for admission to WVNCC, what should you do first? Well, we want you to make sure that you fill out an application, a free application online to our college. Also make sure that you request all transcripts to come directly to the college. So if you're taking a high school course, maybe at Belmont College, make sure that you have that transcript. All transcripts need to come into the college so that we can start your formal academic record. If you don't have ACT and SAT scores, sometimes this can be difficult, particularly in the COVID environment that we're in. We offer AccuPlacer testing, which can be done scheduled one-on-one -on, -one on all three campuses. We even have the opportunity that you can schedule the time that you want to take the test. The main thing that we need you to do while you're filling out your application is make sure you do the FAFSA. And October 1st, the FAFSA for the 21-22 year became available and you and your parents will use your 2019 taxes to fill this out. Make sure you fill it out and get it done as soon as possible. This will allow you to have access to scholarships, higher education grant, other free funds that are available. And we'd like to make sure that you, if you have any questions at the end of our presentation, our email and our phone number is available. So please make sure you contact us. All right, so we are hoping that you might be able to visit with us again um, in the past, we've always offered open houses where students can come to campus and meet all of us in person. Um, but now that COVID is here, we've come up with unique ways, just as we are here today together, to, to still give you information about how we can help you. So our next events will be our virtual open house days. And the way that those have been organized this time is based on major. So if you are a student who's interested in studying something in the allied health realm, um, you would want to join into this meeting. It's a Zoom meeting on November the 7th, which is a Saturday in the morning from 9 until 1030, where you'll be able to meet with faculty who teach in that area. And that way you'll be able to get your questions answered from them. Um, also on November 7th, we are going to be having another session that runs from 11 until 1230. And that's when you can meet with faculty members once again, like Crystal Harbert, um, or John Lance, who teaches criminal justice, and learn more about those programs, such as um, human services, liberal arts, that would be your history, psychology, education, human services. And then the following Saturday, which is going to be November the 14th, we'll have a session in the morning from 9 to 1030. For those who would like to speak with Kurt Hippensteel or some of the other faculty members in the applied technologies and culinary arts, and our final open house day will be on the November 14th as well from 1130 to 1230 for students who would like to speak with faculty members in regards to business, science, technology, and math. Um, so we do have those events coming up. As, as Sarah mentioned, the app is wonderful. You'll be able to have access to all the different events that are going on and have registration links to get to those. Um, in the Next week as well, we are going to be offering what are called drive through registration events on each of these three campuses. So if students have things to turn in, such as applications or forms or want to talk about registration, they're going to be on November 3rd, 4th and 5th. 
So we're trying to uh, be creative and come up with different ways for students to come visit with us and meet us and, and learn more about us. Um, as Ina mentioned, there, our contact information is up on the screen now. So if you do have any questions for us, um, please let us know whether that be today or after this meeting, if you think of something, and we really appreciate that you are here with us today. We hope to hear from you soon and please get in touch with us at any one of the following numbers. We'll be more than happy to reach out to you and send you to the right area. We, have a, we do have, yes, we have, we have a question. question. Um, when Is will the next semester and summer start? Sorry, Crystal. <laughs> So our next semester, our spring 21 semester, well, we have a winter intercession beginning on December, I believe, 14th, is that correct? Mm -hmm. so That's right, Regan, it's December 14th. And then that will run through January 9th. And then we'll have a spring, 20, our spring 21 semester opens back up on January 19th and registration is ongoing for that. And summer begins on May 24th. So we're looking forward to seeing everyone friendly faces on campus. Um, Lisa or Ina, do you guys want to show them how to apply on the website or where they need to go on the website to apply? Or I can do that if you'd like me to. Yes, please go ahead, Reagan. Okay. And while you're pulling that up, let me also say that graduating seniors from West Virginia sit-in colleges, we honor the early entrance rates during the summer after you graduate. So that's a good way to get a kickoff to your college career. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen now. So when you go onto our website, if you just go onto the wvncc.edu website, I guess I'll turn my camera on. Um, so we'll go onto our main page, and as, as you can see under here, it says apply today. You'll click on apply today, and you'll begin the online application. The biggest hang up with our students um, is that they get confused with the first time user account creation and the login and the PIN. Just go straight to the first first time user account creation. Do a create a login ID, which is consisting of um, five characters and must start to be with an alpha character, or your pin must and then your pin must be six digits. Once you start that, you can go ahead and complete the application in probably about five to ten minutes at most. So that's how you apply online. Once you are um, successful with the application, a um, student ID number will be generated. If you do not see a student ID number at the end of the application, please reach out to us because there has been an error in your application and we have to get that fixed as soon as possible. Um, and the next thing I want to show you guys is if you guys want to schedule a tour, um, Ina and Lisa are willing to show you the Wheaton and New Martinsville campus and I'm always willing to show you the Wheaton or the Wheeling Wheaton or New Martinsville campus, any three campuses I'll be willing to show you. If you just go onto our main page, schedule a tour on the Wheeling campus or give Ina Elise or Lisa a call. They'll be able to help you get um, scheduled for a tour as soon as possible and as soon as their schedule allows. Um, the next thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about was our chat feature on our website. So if you have any questions or concerns, if you just type in, I'm gonna type my name in and I'm gonna start chatting with the missions. I'm gonna say, hi, I have a question. I will get a full, I would get a response from an actual um, one of our staff members here at the college. So I'm not sure who's on right now, but um, you would get a response from one of us in a real life act time. And um, if we don't, if we're not on, I receive a copy of that chat and I get back to you as soon as I can um, help you with that question. Other than that, um, our website's a very, um, very nice, place to bookmark and have it on because you can see other upcoming events that are coming on or coming up um, the drive through registrations coming up. You can see of all about our programs if you want to learn about the continuing community education portion of it all. If you actually as of yesterday, our schedule planner is live for spring and summer. So you can actually search what classes. So if you were looking for an English 101 this summer. You can see all the different options that we're offering it um, on the New Martinsville, Wheaton, and Wheeling, and also as distance ed. 
And so this is just an awesome opportunity for you to look to see what, what your schedule could possibly look like when you meet with your advisor. Other than that, that is all I have for you guys today. If I know or Lisa, if you have any other questions or any comments, we'd be happy to help you guys. But thank you for joining us today. We really do appreciate your time. Thank you, Crystal, for joining both of our sessions. And so, um, Sarah, thank you as well. Ina and Lisa, it was great having you guys on today. So we, West Virginia Northern thanks you, and we thank everybody who's gonna be watching this later on down the road. Am I good to share the last slide, everyone? All right. So we just have one more little housekeeping slide here for you all. Um, there we go. All right, so thank you for joining us and thank you to our presenters today. That was a great presentation. Um, when we close this window out, there's gonna be a four question survey. If you all could just take the time to you know, answer it, that'd be very helpful. Again, remember this is just one of the many West Virginia Afro sessions that we have. You can sign up for additional ones at wbacrao.org. And again, in about a week, this is going to be recorded for everyone to rewatch or if you were you know, unable to attend, and you can get to that at wbacrao.org. Thank you all for attending.